We are back with a, a busy day of committee moves. Bill Baruch, I said he was going to join us. He does now. Nice to have you. You have two new buys. Mass Tech, number one. Why? This is a name we, we owned and we loved last year. And it set a record high into August, the day of its earnings report. And it missed hugely this last August. It's down big. Uh, they had problems with visibility in their billing. And there was delays in billing. So they, their guidance was re very poor. We ended up getting out of that uh, stock and pushing aside and, and been watching it for quite a while. Put that money elsewhere in industrials. Now you're starting to see their EPS guidance lift up. I like the diversity in the infrastructure business where um, they put a lot of cash and spent uh, on, on different uh, ventures. Like IEA was a company they purchased. They, it costed a lot of money to integrate it. So there's less integration costs down the road. I like the infrastructure in natural gas space. I, I, I like the name I always have. And I think now we have a little visibility to feel more comfortable with it. So we're, we uh, are back in that name now. Why'd you buy Chubb? Is that a... a a Berkshire thing? What's up with that? Well, if it's good enough for Warren Buffett, it's good enough for me. Mm -hmm. I say that I say that facetiously, but um, you know, it, it, there's some truth to that. I mean, it's best in breed uh, and underwriting. The, the name has broken out, and overall, I think that uh, I want some exposure in that space. I haven't had any insurance space, so as we talk about some of the cells, you can see some of this is sort of rotating within the sectors. I, I would like to be able to add to that name at 255 as it comes back in, and I think it's a, a breakout that's going to stay in an uptrend. So yeah, your cells that you allude to are, um, you know, I, I frankly I find them more interesting, but I wanted to do the buys first. Um, Why did you sell Morgan Stanley? You know, I think as they go through this transition away from uh, Gorman, you know, there's a little bit of, of question now on, um, you know, where they where what sector within the business is going to lead. And then on top of that, uh, it's run up, but it's also been a little bit of underperforming behind a name like Goldman Sachs uh, compared to Chubb. that's broken out within the financial space. Morgan Stanley's running into some of some a lot of overhead supply uh, from its 2022 high. So I, I want to get out of the way and, and watch it a little bit as I kind of rotate in something where I feel there's a bit more momentum and a bit more certainty. Why? So he's out of Morgan Stanley. Um, you're in, I think, only Goldman or is it Goldman and BAC? BAC, Goldman, is by far a much bigger position. That's a real core position. What do you think about the financials, though? Um, it's interesting, you know, rising rates said to be no yeah. good. And now, you know, if rates are falling because you're worried about the macro, that's no good either. Well, I, I think actually the market got over its skis in, in believing that the IPO market was going to open. You've only had four tech IPOs this year that are, are really significant in terms of their size. Every banker I talk to, and we've met with a lot of senior bankers recently, are looking at mid-25 before the equity market opens. And that may not be the case. I mean, you know, if the Fed starts easing sooner, which uh, not just one or two, but really easing, then you can see the equity market open up sooner. Well, I mean, the uh, the uh, the capital markets for for IPOs and stuff. Yeah. I mean, I think yeah. even yeah. even the leading VC VCs think 25. Yeah, and, is and the that's, story. And that's so maybe, maybe got a little ahead. But, of that, but what's going to be most interesting then is you've got such a such a flood of new supply coming on. Can the market handle it? Yeah. Because huge, huge pipeline. So, Bill, Weiss sold Cat yesterday. You sold it now, too. I Why? sold it last week. Oh, you sold it last week. Sorry. Yeah. Weiss sold it last week. You're, you're selling it as well. Why? Yeah, we sold it in the open yesterday. I mean, I look at the trajectory of PMIs right now, and uh, I, I don't. that is worrisome. Yesterday's manufactured PMI, in which we sold it, uh, just ahead of it, was poor. Um, you know, some of the backlog that was sort of appraised coming into the year, uh, you're starting to erode, and it shows a little bit of a very cyclical business here. Uh, if, the, if the economy starts to take a downturn, look at Atlanta Fed GDP now that Josh was just referencing the previous segment. You know, if some of that happens, Caterpillar is a name that's going to get hit. Now, we also own United Rentals. And so I feel like a little too much exposure uh, with that direct uh, you know, reliance on some of the infrastructure spending, the Inflation Reduction Act that's coming out this summer. So taking away a more global name and reducing uh, Caterpillar and focusing, again, some of that money went into Mass Tech. We also own United Rentals. The right. idea here is we're netting out cash as well. And we're, we're, we're taking a little bit of a cautious approach. You sold Target. Yeah, disappointed in the earnings report. You know, I was hoping to see a little more lean into the, the ad revenues. Uh, but overall, this is a bounce back. I think Friday's move was a gift back to uh, where the earnings breakdown was. So, I'm again, 
overall, just stepping out of that, I mean, if I get back into more uh, staples, um, some, of the, some of the discretionary staples, I, I think there's better places to be than Target. So I am worried about that. Uh, and again, overall, these moves, selling three and adding two, and even going back to some of the moves I made last week, I've netted about 3% cash. We also own the SPY put spreads, which I highlighted two weeks ago. So taking a cautious approach here as we work through the data this week, mm -hmm. uh, as well as the Fed next week. And, you know, I'm really worried whether bad news is going to be bad news. So that's, uh, that's where I am right now. Good stuff. All right. I appreciate you joining us. Thank you. Bill Baruch, we'll talk to you again soon.